This is Captain Ross with 3B's Captain School. In this video, we're going to cover navigation rules of the road, rules 4 through 7. Rule 4 tells us that this next section of the rules, 5 through 10, deals with vessels in any condition of visibility. So whether you can see them or it's in restricted visibility and you cannot see them. So what are our objectives for the next couple rules, 4 through 7? We're going to state when vessels are required to have a lookout, state the six factors that are used to determine safe speed by all vessels, state what every vessel should use to determine if a risk of collision exists, state the two proper uses of radar equipment in determining if risk of collision exists, state the four considerations to be taken into account in determining whether a risk of collision exists. All right, so look out. This is pretty easy. Every vessel shall at all times maintain a proper lookout by sight and hearing as well as by all available means appropriate to the prevailing circumstances. A lookout is a person assigned to do nothing except be on watch. If you have a vessel that is crewed, has a mandatory crew, and one of the crew members is assigned to be the lookout, they can't have another job in addition. Strictly lookout. Safe speed. A safe speed is defined as one in which a vessel can take proper and effective action to avoid collision and be stopped in an appropriate distance. So basically there's no speed limit on the water. You have to operate your vessel at a safe speed, which is defined as a speed that you can take proper and effective action to avoid collision, collision and be stopped in an appropriate distance. So what factors do we look at to uh, determine our speed and whether it's safe? State of visibility, traffic density, maneuverability of your vessel, and we're talking about stopping distance, turning ability. At night, the presence of background light, the state of the wind, sea, and current, and your draft in relation to the available water depth. Risk of collision. Every vessel shall use all available means appropriate to the prevailing circumstances to determine if a risk of collision exists. Proper use shall be made of radar equipment if fitted and operational, including long-range scanning and radar plotting. A note of caution here. If you don't have a properly operating radar or don't know how to operate it, don't use the radar as a reason to go faster. You need to determine your speed by your uh, ability, or determine risk of collision, I'm sorry, by your ability to use the radar, in addition to um, sight and sound. A risk exists if the bearing of an approaching vessel does not appreciably change. So we call that constant bearing, decreasing range. So I have a vessel relative bearing 0 to 0 degrees, which would be off my starboard bow, and as we're getting closer, our range is decreasing, that bearing stays the same, then there's a risk of collision. That same scenario, if we're getting closer, but he goes from 020 to 040 to 090, then he's drifting or he has right bearing drift. He's drifting down my right or starboard side. So a risk of collision doesn't necessarily exist there because he doesn't have constant bearing. He's moving. And then always, if there's any doubt in your mind as to whether or not you have a risk of collision, you have to assume that risk exists and take the appropriate action. This concludes our video on navigation rules of road, rules 4 through 7. Please check our YouTube library for our other videos.